Hey there LEGO fans! It's been a while since I've done a vehicle release, so for this week's build we have the Volkswagen T2 camper van. Kit number 10279, 2207 pieces. And this is a Volkswagen certified kit, so I mentioned the details within will be pretty spot on. As this is a camper van, you have the pop top roof, additional sleeping quarters within, a little cook station, and of course the engine compartment. And I'm looking forward to getting a closer look at all of that. So let's open up the box, have a look what's inside, and get this build underway. So here we have the Volkswagen Type 2, first introduced in the 1950s and, depending on the body type, comes in several variations including the Transporter, Kumbi, Microbus, or in this case, the Camper Van. With over 70 years since its inception and production continuing today with a soon to be released electric version, the fan following of this iconic vehicle is virtually unmatched. This particular variant comes from the 1960s and be right at home on the California coast. As was the norm for these buses, they came with a very flat nose. Not too much to see here, a pair of headlights, turning signals down in the corners, the bumper was very large and made of steel because that's how they were made back then, and the spare tire iconically mounted right in the front center. And on this bus, it's not purely decorative because it's also linked to the steering mechanism. So as you turn it, both the wheels and the steering wheel will go left to right. Along the passenger side, both the doors open up. The passenger door in front opens as you'd expect it, just open it up and there's the interior. Whereas the rear door, the sliding door, First you have to press this little button to pop open the back of it and then you can slide it open and again of course slide it shut. And in the back we have two more doors to open, first the trunk exposing the cargo zone and then at the bottom we have the engine compartment exposing a very simple basic little engine. And then on the left side as we'd expect the driver's door of course opens exposing the interior where we can see a steering wheel, a very simple dash, his gear shifting knob and the driver's seat. And now moving top side we have the pop top roof 
which initially I thought exposed a little sleeping zone up top, but I was mistaken because this just pops up giving you standing room within the van, which is of course very desirable. Because there's a whole living space in here, and to get a better look at it, all you have to do is open the trunk, which then clears the way for the roof to be slid back and then removed. Within, we've got a little kitchen zone with a sink, faucet, two burners, one of them having a flame lit, the other one has a kettle on it at the moment, a little table that you can flip up to make a little dining zone, and the bench in the back can be folded flat to make a bed just barely large enough for two. Then beneath the sink and burners, we have a little bit of cabinetry. Right at the very top, we have a pair of knobs. These would be the controls for the two burners. And opening the door just beneath them, we find the propane tank, which would of course be supplying fuel to the two burners just above, but additionally also powers the propane fridge that's just to the left. Where within, we find two soda cans, a banana, and what looks like a little carton of orange juice. Then we have a few accessories in the form of the surfboard, which is able to stand upright due to the fin that's mounted in the back, and a pair of beach chairs, all of which fit nicely within the van. The beach chairs themselves fold down flat and then fit in this little compartment just above the driver's cab, and there's plenty of room in the back for this surfboard. Finally, this kit also comes with an altered set of license plates. Uh, clearly seen here, these are the California versions. I believe the ones that are in the van right now would be the German versions, not really sure. And then there's a whole other sticker sheet, or as Lego likes to refer to this one, the flower power sticker sheet, which you can use to customize your van in that peace-loving hippie style. And I'd like to take a moment to talk about how much I appreciate this optional set of stickers, because most Lego kits come with stickers that are intended to be applied in specific locations, giving everyone basically the same kit. But in this case, you have these stickers that you can apply however you choose and customize your kit however you desire, making this one your own. Which, in my opinion, adds to the display value of this kit, where I feel this set shines the strongest. In its color scheme, it may not be the flashiest kit out there, but it's highly recognizable, and with over 70 years of fandom behind it, there's a large crowd that will really appreciate a kit like this. The details both in and out are very satisfying, and I'm sure anyone who's ever had a real one or wanted a real one would be really happy to have this kit in their collection. As a playset, this kit actually kind of sucks. I know you can drive it around, you do have that steering mechanism in the front, but honestly, it's not very well located for playtime, so it's a little bit cumbersome. And not being to minifigure scale, I don't find there's all that much play appeal. And as to the parts that you might be tempted to reuse in a future build, there's a lot of turquoise in this build, so if you're looking for that color, that'd be pretty great. There's also a nice assortment of large windows. But other than that, there aren't any components in this kit that really jump out as something that would be highly desirable, a reason to buy this kit for its pieces. Other than, of course, these printed BW hubcaps. They're pretty great. So I would say this kit is best suited for the A-Falls out there. Someone who really wants to appreciate it for its display value, who likes looking at it, likes showing it off, and has guests that will appreciate it as well. If on top of that you've got a car collection going, this will of course fit in very nicely, especially if you also have the same colored Volkswagen Beetle and the previous version of the camper van, all together, coming together to what I feel to make a really awesome display, reinforcing what I said earlier, where I feel this van is best suited for someone who wants to display it.